Hi there and welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer. This is A Country Life and today I just wanted to give you guys a peek into I guess our country kitchen. We've got some things going on here today and I'm hoping to get I guess a number of different things going today but first off I'm making applesauce and Warren is making I guess we call these partridge tenders. Yeah. Yeah. So he's been doing some uh, partridge hunting lately and yeah, did you get these yesterday? Yes, shot three yesterday. Yeah, shot three of them yesterday and so him and Peter are working together. They're going to make partridge tenders. So the deal is, what are you guys going to do? Dip them in milk? So we're going to soak them in milk for just a little bit and then we're rolling them in uh, uh, crushed salting crackers. Maria crushed them all. How yep. many do you have now? Six. Okay, so. now make sure that they're all covered in the milk and they soak a little bit and then transfer them into the crumbs and shake them up. He's got some oil over here he's going to heat up. So yeah, that's that's what's going. And then I'm working on applesauce. And so I got to give this a good stir. Just waiting for these apples to get nice and soft and then I'm going to be running them through my food mill. So basically the same thing, it's the same process as when I made my tomato juice that you guys just saw not that long ago. So, well, maybe it feels like a long time ago now, but for me it doesn't feel like that long. <laughs> What are you doing today, Joe? Mm -hmm. What do you got going? Whoops. Just keep them in there. That's a pizza. Well, you want pizza? Yeah. We're having partridge. That's a pizza. Sorry, partridge. Oh, we got fingers. Snitching on a partridge bite. Is it good? Is it hot? Oh, so Orange just took out the hot. first or second batch here. <laughs> Peter's got another some? batch soaking. They're really hot, Maria. I think so. Do you want them yeah. to just munch, yeah, as, they just munch as they come off? Okay, yep. Feel free to have some. They're really hot. Okay, Peter, these are ready. All right. That's what they look like when they're cooking. I don't know. How long would you say you uh, fry these for, Warren? I go more by look. Okay. Um, so do you think it's five minutes? It, I would say five so minutes. Yeah, five minutes probably. Okay. So not too long, but. You don't want to overcook them. Like For sure. I've got the first batch of applesauce going into my food mill. Again, this is just the easiest way we've found to make applesauce. You don't have to, have to peel the apples or anything like that. We just scrub them all up and then run it through the food mill. Seeds, stems, skins all come out that end. And all of the good fleshy applesauce comes out this end. And... Uh, yeah, that's it. Super easy to do. What I like to do is use this huge pot that I have, and I put about three quarters inch, I would say, of water in the bottom, and then I do pour in at least a couple, two, three tablespoons of lemon juice, and then I'm gonna fill this, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna fill this all the way to the top with apples, and just keep stirring. If you feel like, um, if you feel like it might be scorching, you need, you should have added more water basically. <laughs> so I'm going to keep this um, just cooking here. I'm going to put a lid on it to keep it nice and steamy. That really gets the apples nice and soft. And these are the apples that I'm working up right now. Sam actually wanted to go to a friend's today and I said, you know what, you uh, go ahead, but could you please wash an entire box of apples? <laughs> so he washed a whole box of apples before he went and um, yeah, I'm just cutting. I cut off any bad spots, put my apples in here, transfer them over there, and we just keep it going. So here's the bowl of applesauce that I just ran through the food mill. Um, our applesauce always gets very pink because I do cook it with the skins on, and we have some very, very uh, dark skinned apples. And so, yeah, if you have a lighter skinned apple, sometimes the applesauce will be a little bit more of a yellowish color. I just think there's so much good flavor in the skin, that's why we like to cook it with the skins on, and it's so much easier.
Hey, Mom. Yes, Joel. Mom, I'm looking for boots. You're looking for your boots? Yes, right over in our garage. Uh, I don't think they're in the garage. I think they're still in this basket. We didn't unpack them yet. Um, honey, I think they're in here. Nope, I was wrong. Just wait. Where are you? Here they are, Joel. They're right here. We did unpack them already. Forever. Yep, they're right there. Do you need your coat zipped up? Yeah. You need help? Uh, forever. Forever. Mm. Uh, uh, mm. uh, forever. Forever, you bet. All right, so while Warren and Maria are out hunting, Joseph and Peter are going to go outside. I pretty sure Ooh. it is October 25th. <laughs> yeah, sledding. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this is the earliest that they have ever, ever tried sledding. Oh, Peter's coming in. Come on in, tell us about it. It's not good enough. It's not good for sledding? No. Looks like it made some perfect snowballs though. Mm -hmm. Awesome, Joe's just coming out, so he wants to come out and try with you, okay? Okay. Okay. Joe, do you wanna have a snowball fight? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Never uh, forever. Never forever? All right, let's get you a hat and mittens too. Okay, and I'm just gonna stay in and finish up the applesauce. So I have, uh, this is the first two batches, batches, which is 14 quarts, and I think it's looking like so far they've all sealed, I believe. And I have one more last batch in here. These are still all the apples that Sam had washed for me this morning. So this was the end of it. So this is a total of 21 quarts. What I've been doing with the apples is I have been, I've found that I don't get as much siphoning out if I turn off the burner, take the cover off, and then just let them sit actually down in the water. Right now I have them lifted out, but let them sit in the water for a while, and then I lift it out and I'll end up taking all of these out. And I just, I found like today, I didn't have any siphoning of any of the jars, which was awesome. I also want to um, bring you along for Sunday supper. So I'm going to be making my oven fried chicken and we're gonna do mashed potatoes and um, yeah, just kind of whatever all I decide here. I'm not, I don't fully know exactly what all it's gonna be, but those two things for sure. It's already five o'clock. Oh boy, okay, so. It's gonna be a while before we eat, but that's okay. Warren and Maria are still out hunting, and I've been just trying to clean up because as you know, when you just do a lot of canning, making applesauce or you know preserving like your harvest, it makes a huge mess, <laughs> a lot of dishes. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna get the chicken in, then I'm gonna come back and finish these dishes. This is kind of a funny angle. <laughs> but anyway, I have a paper bag. There we go. And I have a cup of flour in there. I'm putting two teaspoons of salt, and you can go kind of heavy on that. Actually, I'm gonna throw in a little bit more. And do two teaspoons of paprika. This is just a recipe. This is how my grandma would make chicken, and I'm pretty sure my mom made chicken like this. And then I'm gonna put in about a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. That was probably a half, that's okay. And that's it. I'm going to shake up. Whoa. I'm going to shake this all up. And then I'm going to rinse my chicken, pat it dry, and I'm going to shake it in here. And while I do that, I'm going to get my oven set to 400 degrees. And I'm going to get some butter melting in a, um, like a 9 by 13 pan. Okay, you're gonna to wanna to put this skin side down for the first 30 minutes, and then you'll be turning it, and obviously skin side up for the second 30 minutes. Sometimes I go a little longer than 30 minutes for the second round, just to make sure that the skin is extra crispy. Let's make sure we get some butter down there. Why is that? I didn't think my kitchen was that out of level. Okay, and I do see I'm gonna have to actually have another pan. I thought I was gonna be able to squeeze these in here, 
but I have four more and I don't want to squeeze them in. So I'm going to get just like a small 8x8 pan, melt some butter in there, and then I will get this all into the oven. I wanted to just share with you something that I just bought, not, um, yeah, it just came a couple days ago, actually. And uh, so for years and years, Warren and I have always been talking about wanting a fireplace. We, whenever we um, like vacation and we stay in a VRBO um, rental, we're always looking for a fireplace. And so we were just kind of talking the one day about the expense of putting in a fireplace and where would we put it in our house and would we go a real bur wood burning fireplace or a gas fireplace and just the expense. I mean. We were looking and to do a real wood fireplace, stone, all that kind of thing, you know, thousands, thousands and thousands of dollars. And so I said, you know, why don't we do like we did with the hot tub? <laughs> Instead of getting a great big fiberglass one that requires, you know, tons and tons of at least what seemed like a lot of maintenance, why don't we just go with the blow up one and, you know, a whole lot less. So guess what we did? My battery's gonna burn out here pretty quick but I just bought one of these little, so this is metal. It's made to look like wrought iron and it's just electric. Right now, I don't even have the heating portion on and just kind of like the, the fake fire, but there is, um, well, when you open this up, none of this gets even hot. Like that's not hot, that's not, nothing's hot. Um, but down here, there is, there's the on off, look at that, get up in the morning, start a fire <laughs> and then there's two levels of heat and you can even turn the brightness up and down and you can turn the blower up and down and so that is what we did and look at this this is really a fun little picture although I do have some dead plants but outside right now it is snowing and so if I ever get all of my kitchen work done today and cleaned up I can actually come in here and sit down Watch my little fire, look at the snow. It's just beautiful. It was under $100. Well, actually, I used my affiliate income. So thank you to you guys for shopping through my link. This was around 127 or something, and I had $32 from, I think that would have been the month of, we're in October, it would have been from like the month of September. I got $32 of affiliate income, so I put it towards buying this, so it took it to under under 100 bucks for me. So yeah, just, just wanted to share that, and it's just the perfect day for something like that, seeing that it's snowing. Hi, Joe. <laughs> How's the snow? I don't know. What no, the sunburn. It what? No, the sunburn. Never no, 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 baby. You got a sunburn? Yeah. Really? Yes. I don't think there's any sun out there right no, no, now. No, no, no. It's ice. So deep. The snow is pretty deep? No, 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 no. The ice? ice? Where did you find ice? I bought the, 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 the fort. Where? That's the fort. Did you go? Oh, you're pretty wet. Did you go out in yeah. some ice? No, it's to tip ups. Oh, tip ups? Yes. I don't think it's and quite tip-up weather yet. It's ice. I hear Peter knocking right on there. the window. Should we go see what he wants? <sighs> All right, Peter was just knocking because he made a little tiny snowman. So let's go take a peek at it, okay? Hi. Hi. You look pretty wet. Look at that. We got jack-o'-lanterns with snow. <laughs> Oh, I think I'm going to get snowy. Look at your snowman, There's Peter. This, this snow <laughs> I could use. Look at that. Cute. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very cute. We're halfway through. We're just going to turn these now and put the skin side up. And this is what really, really makes the chicken because now it's going to start to get nice and crispy on top. Our hunters are back in. You guys have a story to tell us at all? What do you want to say, Maria? Um, hey! Well, <laughs> <laughs> we were hunting and I 
you were just sitting there, and I saw something um moving in the woods. Mm -hmm. And it was then it was like and we saw nothing. And then it was a while later, and we and then it a deer came out, and it was a big spike. No, I'm six pointer. Well, well sure it they it <laughs> they disagree. Pointer. Maria thinks it was what? A six pointer. And oh, Warren spike. says it was a spike. A spike. A big spike. <laughs> But you were a really good hunter, Dad said. You yeah, sat so quiet and you were went, so patient. The one went out and curved it. Huh. And she made it all the way till the end of the shooting. They hour. did, huh? Wow. All right. Well, here's what we're going to be having for supper tonight. Don't hey. Mom's filming. So here's what we're going to be having for supper tonight. This is a really interesting look at the difference between a dark pan and a light pan. So if you're ever. You know, I've talked about that many times before when you're like baking muffins or cookies. Like cookies we like to cook on a light pan. Muffins I like to cook in a dark pan. Anyway, um, you can just see the difference. The darker, the chicken is a little darker in the darker pan. Anyway, this is our chicken. This was in for about an hour and 10 minutes. I made mashed potatoes to go with it. For mashed potatoes, what I like to do, you know, if you're like ever wondering how many potatoes do I need to make, I do it um, two potatoes per person and then sometimes I'll throw in an extra one or two potatoes. So for us tonight, there's only five of us having supper. I did actually 11 potatoes because that was how many were in the bag. And I said to Warren, I think it was enough for Thanksgiving dinner because there's a lot of mashed potatoes. But we're also doing creamed corn. I have a tiny bit of this Asian salad left and then we also have applesauce. So that's going to be supper here tonight and that's going to round out the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed just another, um, you know, just spending some time in the kitchen with us today. Okay, you guys have a great day. You want to say goodbye? Bye. See you next time.